Hello everyone. I'm back with another unboxing. Um, I I almost opened it because I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> this is the merch box ten. Um, yeah, I ordered a uh, shampoo and conditioner, BT Twenty One shampoo and conditioner, and at first I thought that's what this was. <laughs> And I saw the BTS logo. I'm like, oh, they put BTS logo on BT21. <laughs> but it wasn't BT21. I almost opened it. Um, but yeah, merch box 10. And then it has the box. Um, this, this month so far has been so quiet. There hasn't been a lot of activity. And I think I am going through... <laughs> Oh, BTS withdrawal of sorts. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this box, uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice box. It opens up this way and voila, you can see the front comes down, the side stays still. And here are the photo cards and this is the snow globe. I don't know how I want to display this. I do like the box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though. I have to put it away somewhere, I think. But uh, should I keep the snow globe in the box? I want to be able to see it, right? So it is a very simple globe. Just the logo on the front. Oh, look. It has little BTS logo confetti inside. <laughs> How cute. Do you guys see it? Wait a minute, let me see if I can... Okay, I'm going to let it fall to the top and then... Ta -da! Do you see it? Oh, it disappeared again. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing. But they have little, little logo. <laughs> there, do you guys see it? And then... Of course, the albums, all the different albums inside. It is super cute. The white Christmas tree with the BTS star on top. A lot of snow. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Uh, very snowy. <laughs> You can't see the tree because it's snowing so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep this at my desk and just play with it from time to time. I think this would be a good, like, stress reliever. You know, kind of like those, like, fidget balls and, like, squishy thingies and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I'll lay it down this way. Don't roll. Are you going to roll? I think it'll roll. Ah. There we go. Okay, that won't roll. All right, moving on. Oh, but uh, one thing that did release. Well, Sugar had his last concert a couple days ago. Oh, did you guys see? Somebody made um, a little sign that said Antique Galaxy. And Antique was in Korean, but they wrote Antique Galaxy on the sign. And they had a flip phone. <laughs> Not Galaxy, Samsung. Antique Samsung. They had a flip phone Samsung phone. And uh, Sugar got such a kick out of it. Oh, it was so cute how much he, he laughed at that. He thought it was hilarious. Oh. But that was really cute. And then Jimin's, Jimin's song. Oh, it's not really his song, but Angel Part 1. You know, that he participated in for the movie. The song is, is good. I don't dislike the song. It's a good song. Oh, look. You can see his makeup. It's weird seeing Namjoon with makeup. I know he wears it, but I think most of the pictures that I see of him, it's not so evident. Or I haven't really paid attention to the pictures where it is evident. So I've always seen more natural looking Namjoon. Here he, you can see his eye makeup. <laughs> Jin? See, it's not that evident on Jin. 
Shika, not evident either. See, this is definitely Sugar, not Augusti. I have to say, I'm I'm more in love with Augusti than I am with Sugar. <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> I don't know that that bad boy look of his just, yeah. Benjamin, we know what this this outfit is like. <laughs> and the his pink shirt and like the the blue jacket like the vibrancy of it reminds me of the Korean traditional dress hanbok there's a lot of hanbok that are traditionally these colors I think I have one actually <laughs> and cookie oh him with his little pursed lips <laughs> uh, okay so these are the photo cards I keep seeing these um, for sale online and I'm like tempted to buy them all the time. Then I have to remind myself, yours is coming. Don't buy it. It's coming. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep playing with this. I think I can leave this on my desk. Mm. <laughs> oh, but the song. Um, oh, Jimin's voice is so amazing in the song. The song is kind of sad. To be honest, it says uh, because it talks about you know being bad, him being well, whoever's singing the song, the, the the person being bad for the other person, so telling them to leave. So it's kind of sad. And Jimin's Jimin's part, he says, "I'm what you want, but not what you need." And then he says to leave because he breaks beautiful things. He doesn't break beautiful things. And I know it's silly. It's it's just part of his line, but still. <laughs> I do. I, I the the rap part, it, it kinda throws me off a little bit, which is really funny because you know BTS songs do that a lot. I don't think it's necessary to rap bean. Um but and this is, please don't be angry. <laughs> this is coming from a 1000% BTS biased perspective. Oh, but I wish it was BTS voices singing the rap part too. <laughs> yeah. And again, it is, it is simply because I am completely, totally enthralled and addicted to BTS so it has nothing nothing about the other artists it's just that's how much how engrossed I am into uh, BTS anyway <laughs> uh, I have not been motivated to work on my my planner mm, I need Jungkook to come back <laughs> I need him to come back I think him coming back will motivate me to do more stuff again. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, this will this might be the last um video for a while. I don't think anything else is shipping, and I don't know. I've been kind of um trying to get ready for the cruise because I have to I have to buy clothes because I don't really fit in my clothes anymore, and figure out what I'm gonna take and stuff like that. And yeah. So anyway, it might be a while before I upload another video, but until then, I hope you guys are safe and healthy and enjoy the rest of the month. It feels like a very lonely month, but oh yeah, maybe, maybe I might do a post after the um, D-Day in the theaters, but we'll see. Okay. I will see you guys later. Bye.